Bambi. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. This is a video about dogs. <laughs> Bambi, come here. You want to go? We're going to go find another place to park. Somewhere cool. And we're going to take a walk. And um, we're going to make our video, our channel opener video. <laughs> After two and a half years. <laughs> Bambi, come here. Do your things that you do so everyone can see how cute you are. <laughs> do you love me, baby? Are you a good, <laughs> are you a good dog? Mm. Mm. Okay, now, now what? Oh, can you show me bitey mouth? <laughs> There's a thing called bitey mouth. Because I was watching videos about uh, Belgian Malinois. And um, they were describing basically bitey mouth, which is a, a, a mal thing. That's what us owners of Belgian Malinois can say, mouths. This is my mal. Um, <coughs> sometimes I call her a Belgie. Baby. What are you doing, Beer? You want to show them bitey mouth? Should I get your toy? <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but it's actually... <laughs> really funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Righty mouth. Wait. You wanna play? You wanna play? Come on. Yeah. Wait, show the bitey mouth. Bitey mouth? Baby. You always wanna play. What are you doing? You're crazy. How come you're not playing right now? It's because I told her we were gonna go and then I was like, stop, let's make a video. Because she was doing all this cute stuff and now she's Mrs. Mellow. Hi, puppy, please. I just wanted to show you my new dog. So, bitey mouth. Look at that. Look at that. And then she takes it so gently. Hi, bitey mouth. <laughs> Dogs never do like what you want. It's like, if you, there's a natural way things happen, and then there's the way where you try and show the natural way that happened. It doesn't happen. There she is. So I did a bunch of research on Belgian Malinois, which is this type of dog here that I just got a week and a couple days ago, rescued off the side of the highway in Tennessee, almost hit her with my van. She ran out in front of me. Give me that. Ooh, give me that. Bite me now. Ha, 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 ha
and very hardworking and the type of dog that wants to work and wants to work and wants to work and wants to do a good job and wants you to guide them and um, get them praises for doing the good job. And that they have a lot of energy and they do a lot of chewing and they like to pull and they like to do the play thing with the thing, which you didn't really get to see because she's not, she's not doing her part in the video. I'm going to have to cast another Belgian Malinois. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not casting anybody else. I'm a little poo bear. Oh. <laughs> so, um, she's, she's a high energetic dog. Um, I think when I give her one giant walk and one or two small walks a day that that's going to be enough. Guess what, guys? I'm about to buff up. Well, actually, I'm, as you can see. And I, okay, I'll have to talk about my underarm fur someday, but I'm, I'm going to have to get even more active with this dog. I'm going to have to get her more toys, and I'm going to have to come up with games that are ever-changing for her to keep her stimulated, and that's how it's going to be. And if you watch some of the videos about Belgian Malinois on YouTube, you... Wait, the, the, the dog is like super energetic. So each dog is different though, and I think my dog is a little bit less energetic than some. Um, but we'll see. So I did learn all of that about this type of dog, and um, here she is again. It's my new dog, Bambi, or Bambino. If you have a dog, they'll be no gas. <laughs> I always think that when I think, when I say Bino. Hi. Hi. Why don't you come over here? Come here. Let's show them who we are. Bambi, come. Bambi, come. Come here. Give me some lovin's. Who are you, Bambi? Who is Bambi? Who is Bambi? Is that you, Bambi Mouth? <laughs> I know. Come here. Jump all over me. Give me lovin's. Give me some lovin's. Is that your paw? See how the two paws are two different sizes? So, um, as you know, if you watch my other videos, and usually I don't let her bite my mouth, I say, no, no. And then we get this. Come here. Um, so her two paws are two different sizes. The one paw is limp, which, believe me, doesn't stop her at all. It's probably good that, no, it's not good. But um, the one paw is smaller than the other paw this one because she hasn't been using it so I'm guessing now that she hasn't been using it for some time and that this foot was hit possibly probably by a car and that it has already set wrong it's already healed itself wrong so I don't know what the vet's gonna say when we get there but if there's anything that could be done for her we will do it what are you doing how come you're so cute what are you doing that's no fair you can't cheat by using an extra hand I only have, it's hand against mouth, not hand against mouth and other hand. Bitey mouth. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. You think someone's going to try and get into this van when I'm off dancing at a concert or going grocery shopping? Do you think they're going to try and get in here at night when she's in the front seat? I don't think so. Because of bitey mouth. Oh, bitey mouth. I love that bitey mouth. <laughs> Baby, no. Baby. Anyway, she was just so sweet to me because I was thinking about Pai Mei. And, uh, and I went over and pet and hugged my new dog. And she just put her arms around me and she was just very sweet. What are you doing there, baby? What are you doing there, baby? Huh? She likes to have that. See how pretty that is right there, black? She's black under there, so pretty. Whoa! Pretty uh, uh. mouth. She's so mellow. How come you're so mellow? This is her mellow. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. What are you going to do now? Huh? What are you going to do now? Huh? She's like, this is unbelievable. She's super mellow right now. Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. We lost the change. I don't know where it went. So yesterday we went to the laundromat. And it's okay. <laughs> we went to the laundromat and did all the laundry. It's been like a month. And... 
<clears throat> I took up the Afghan rug. This rug that I love that I don't want to get rid of. Widespread panic. Um, but no, the Afghan one. And it keeps moving a lot. And I took it all, I took up apart the van basically and shook everything out for the first time since I rescued her and she was pretty dirty when I first brought her into the van so and laundered all the oh shit Bambino what are you doing <laughs> where did that change go what are you doing coffee head <laughs> Yeah, you could chew that too for about a minute because then otherwise you might swallow some of it. They'd be very careful. Oh, baby, no. She's a really good, sweet girl. Good girl. Yeah, but we cleaned everything up yesterday and uh, felt really good and it was getting ready to rain like constantly. So I was like, and I finally got into the laundromat and put the laundry stuff in and the guy's like uh you know you'd last load in by 6 30 and it was like 6 25 and I was like oh geez I'm sorry last load in by 6 30 place closes at 7 the laundry thing takes 28 minutes how are you supposed to how is that supposed to and I asked him about it he didn't say anything and I thanked him and told him how grateful I was that it wasn't a problem that I was finishing my laundry and that um I think my phone time is wrong because I've been traveling and I haven't changed it and I don't know what's up, I don't know what time it is. So uh, that sounds pretty idiotic. But anyway, I thanked him, he didn't say anything either. But we did get to do all the laundry and it felt good. And then uh, just enough time for a little walk before the rain came down and a little bit more hail. So today, right now, oh no, oh good. I didn't want to lose, I'll show you, let me show you something. get it so right here I have one of my teeth and one of Pai Mei dog's teeth <laughs> so yeah and um yeah just enough time for a little walk through Evergreen Colorado again and I stupidly bought Taco Bell yesterday which is stupid but I just had a giant green salad with avocado strawberry um, a little bit of salami and a little bit of Havarti cheese and goddess dressing and that made me feel a lot better and you know when I eat McDonald's or Taco Bell or whatever my um, stomach kind of hurts I kind of feel negative and weird and then um, my poops are not good when I eat regular food oatmeal vegetables leaves bread I'm not opposed to bread stuff like that more healthy my poos are really good so I just thought you should know that <laughs> oh and um, I'm gonna do a whole video about why I don't shave why I don't I try and pluck but I can't keep up on it why I don't have you know shaped eyebrows or anything like that why I don't use makeup why I don't use regular deodorant why I don't use regular toothpaste why I don't use regular body soap why I don't use regular dish soap and generally why I'm furry, uh, why I have dreadlocks. I'll do a video about uh, why I don't brush my hair, I guess I could say. And I do wear a bra, because I have to, but why I mostly don't wear underwear. Alrighty then, now that you know a little more about me, I'm gonna do that video. But uh, let's look at um, Bambi one more time. Cause she's cute. Come here, you little Bambino. What are you doing, you little Bambino? Hmm? What are you doing, you little Papa? She said we waxed. How come she said we waxed? Hmm? <sighs> Sorry. And um, she's got like this, and I cut uh, or I worked on it a little bit yesterday, and then um, some on her nose that are healing. I don't know what that is. I hope it's just scrapes and cuts from being a stray and not some kind of skin infection but again we're getting ready to go into the vet we're going to get through this weekend i've decided to stay for panic i'm so excited why spray panic <laughs> um yeah. 
Um, wait a second, wait a second. Breathe, breathe. Yeah, I'm in Colorado right now, and my favorite band is playing right over in the next town, over there, over those mountains. And three shows coming up this weekend. Of course I'm staying. Are you crazy? Am I crazy? Ah. Oh. I put an ad up on Craigslist looking for tickets, telling everyone it was my 20th anniversary of my second and third shows and that I'd really like to go. I was leaving the South and leaving Panic and um, maybe I'll get a ticket for a reasonable price. So I'm really excited about it. I'm glad we're staying. It's now Wednesday, so I have two. I have another day and Friday to get over to the lot and um, you know I'm going to resupply up with water and everything we need. And where we're going from there, I don't know. Because this is van life. And I love it. I just love it. So, all right. I'm here at McDonald's. We're getting ready to go park somewhere cool to do some more videos and to walk the dog and to crochet. Because that's what I do. I'm the nomadic crafter. I'm going to crochet. All right. Hey, in all seriousness, <laughs> thanks for watching this video. Thanks to y'all. And I hope you're doing well. And I'm feeling really, really grateful to be in the situation I'm in right now. I am so glad that I got off my butt and finally drove on in my life, in my van, in my van life. And I'm just glad to be somewhere new and uh, excited about what is coming next. I'm grateful to have enough money to live on. <coughs> I'm hoping to find somewhere to sew soon. I'm really into it. And um, just really lucky to be in this weather and just facing myself on the road. When you get on the road, you're not in your comfortable town with your friends and all of that. You're sort of just facing yourself as the environment is changing. You're staying the same. It's you in all these different places. And there's something about that growth-wise that's really good. Really good for me at this time. All right. Me and my little basket are going to go now, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey, I'll show you more of Bambi later uh, when she's riled up. Wait till you see. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Row!